Hi and welcome back to another devlog. This is devlog 3 for my FPS game, I think. It's been 3 weeks since I last uploaded my devlog so I must have done a lot of work right? Well no, I've hardly done any work because I'm lazy and I'm also working on another small project which I think a lot of you guys will enjoy. So last episode we added a boomerang knife thing, power ups and a pick up and drop system. This episode I just want to create new weapons because well, the current models look like they were made by a 3 year old kid. My game is shaping to be pretty fun and there's some cool and new unique ideas in the game, which we'll later see in the video but well, the main problem is, we don't have a name or a storyline for the game. So I sat around procrastinating for a few days thinking about a storyline for the game and then I came up with this. You're a kid who sees a portal which takes you to a future where there is a robotic apocalypse and it's all up to you to save the world. I don't want to spoil the game too much so that's all you will be getting from me. I think I like the storyline and it works perfectly for the sci-fi game I want to create. Well we still don't have a name for the game so if you have any ideas be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Now that we have a storyline I want to finish on the mechanics so I can get to work on the levels for the story mode. The next devlog will be the last video where I work on the mechanics for the game. Well we have to create new weapons because. Yeah, so I hopped into Blender and started working on a pistol model and after a while I had this. I think I like it quite a lot. I was surprised by how good it looks considering my previous models. After setting it up in Unity, I had this. Looks pretty cool. Now we need to create a new shotgun because well, the old models are, well, absolutely fantastic. So I hopped into Blender and after a longer time than I would like to accept, I had this. Damn, my Blender skills have really improved, haven't they? No, just me. Either way, I'm really happy with how it looks. This is how it looks in game, pretty cool. So we got to work on creating an assault rifle. And after a lot of failed attempts, I mean a lot. I had this, yeah, sorry I ran out of ideas. But after adding it in Unity, I actually kinda like it. Well, we can't forget the SMG, yeah, so nothing much to say, we made this. After adding them all in Unity, I had this. Yeah, they look pretty good. I don't want to make animations yet because I'm lazy. So I got to work on enhancing our movement script. We got to work on creating a ladder system and this is how it looks in game. I also added a ledge grab system but for now it looks a little weird because the character doesn't have arms. After doing all this I got to work on some mechanics I had on my mind for a really long time. A defense mechanic and a grappling hook. I've been playing a lot of Ghost Runner lately and I love the grappling hook. It's kind of like the one Overwatch as well. I feel like it'll work well for my game. So I started researching and found a simple tutorial and after copying, I mean following the tutorial very closely, I had this. It was a little laggy but after playing around with the values a little I got it to work the way I wanted it to. I also want to work on a defense mechanism and at first I wanted to create a force field but after trying it out a little I didn't like it as it slowed down the gameplay and I want my game to feel fast paced and fluid. So the second option was to create a shield. So I hopped into blender and after like 10 minutes I had this. So I added it into unity and added some materials and this is how it looks. I know it doesn't look great right now but after I add hands it's going to look better, I promise. So the idea is to have a futuristic wristwatch which is kind of like your companion and it can shoot grappling hooks and can also be expanded to be a shield. The shield is going to be rechargeable so the longer it is out the more it's going to have to charge. I think this is a great idea and it's going to separate the game from other FPS titles. So we got to work on creating arms and after a really long time I had this. I imported it into Unity and got on to create reaction movements for the pistol. So I started by creating a simple walk and sprint animation and after a while I had this. I also created a walk left and a walk right animations. So when we move left or right the player kind of leans into it making it look a little more realistic and a lot cooler. I also made a simple script to add offset to the arm so they don't look glued to the screen. Okay that will be the end of this video. My game is shaping to be pretty fun and there's still a few cool things I have on my mind but they're taking a lot longer than I thought they would but 
yeah hopefully i can finish them by the next dev vlog that will be it for this video if you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe share follow me on instagram twitter you know the drill okay i'm out peace